Greetings, I'm Sabu, and just so you know, it is my first time here in Bali, Indonesia. And that's how much it is, you guys. I am a millionaire. Some Bali ones told me the world was gone. So right now they are setting up my internet. That's around 24 GB. Yeah. Wow. It's my first time to try Uber here in Bali. Uber is love. This is my driver. Hello, yes. You are Inyoman. 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 Anyway, do you know Kuya? Kuya, is it okay if I call you Kuya? In the Philippines, driver or an older brother, we pay respect by saying Kuya. Kuya? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Around how long will it take? 35 minutes. Oh, cool. Is the traffic bad here or it's okay? Because uh, in the Philippines, no, we have Sunday, really bad traffic. traffic. <laughs> oh, alright, this is Sunday! 35. Yeah, this is the one. So I got like this whole place to myself for just like 600 bucks. We're gonna see the swimming pool and it's pretty epic pool. It's like an infinity pool. Oh, to myself guys, all to myself. This is like heaven. So I got my bed, got an air con, I got the ceiling fan, which is, oh, look at that ceiling. Let us just appreciate for a moment the ceiling. And yeah, those are my stuff and <sighs> nature. Greetings, I'm Sabu and just so you know, it is actually my second day and I am on a solo travel. This is the first time I've gone to a different country by myself and yes, my parents did freak out but I booked it earlier so they kind of had no choice. Sorry mom. But anyway, you know how dogs, like they mark their territory by peeing? Well, I mark on my territory by sleeping. So yesterday, my whole day here, I just slept, took in the peace that comes with being in a country where you know no one and nobody knows you. I did go out for dinner. It's not as Instagrammable right now because I just ate like a bunch of it and I have Thai iced coffee. It's really good, guys. I super love the fat Thai Kai, and it's 52,000 rupiah or around 200 pesos. So super affordable. Cat's Kitchen and order. Pad Thai Kai. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's really good. And by the way, if you guys are wondering what lighting this is, this is actually natural lighting. Okay, so it is my second day, and I just wanted to share with you guys what I learned during my first day. So here are five things that I've learned during my first day here in Bali that I think might be helpful for you guys. Okay, number one, in all the lists and things to do and must do's and must haves, it's funny that I never saw this on any list and I'm just gonna give it to you right now and show you. So basically, what you need to know is that Bali is such a great place but all their charging sockets only accept this kind of end to your you know charger and i don't know about you but the normal charger in the philippines they're like sharp right so i would super advise you guys to bring something like this thankfully the airbnb that i went to has one but it's just one so i have to take turns charging my phone and charging my laptop it's just not practical so you guys should bring this or an extension cord that has something like this at the end and then you can just like plug everything in. That's the first thing <laughs> that's so important especially if you guys need to work like me while you're still here. Okay, so that's number one. Two and three, learn how to motorbike and gas up. Amazingly, the gas here is just so cheap. So I rented a scooter and I realized that I haven't exactly driven a motorbike in ages. My license though in the Philippines is 1-2 meaning I can ride the motorbike and drive a manual car because I took the test for that and I passed. I winged it so I don't know what that says about our LTO. Renting a motorbike was kind of like a spontaneous thing. Annie, the house taker, house taker care or of the house, she drove for me. So they rented out the motorbike for me for 70,000 rupiah, 270 pesos and so that's super cheap and then I just put in a full tank and guess how much the full tank was? 20,000 rupiah. 
and that's just like 77 bucks guys travel travel if you guys are gonna go around bali i suggest study <laughs> study how to ride a bike when you get here you can just you know gas up like with all just like with a dollar and a half not even two dollars you can put in a full tank just travel all around Bali with you and your motorbike I should have done that four Airbnb hopping so that was my plan before coming here I was just like obsessed with Airbnb and I saw how cheap the rates were again if you don't know the place that I'm staying is pretty awesome so here's a clip of what it looks like and of course the background music will be some really good OPM wonderful this room this airbnb is so wonderful the link down below brief review miko is such a great host um annie they're both just so amazing so you guys should really come here i feel like maybe two or three days in one airbnb would be great since i'm just exploring south of bali if you're like a staycation year like me staycation year i love i love staying in the house i'm a homebody but like when i travel i try to go out but not really party chic, but I better dance. So I don't know how much I can contribute to this Bali tour for you guys because I don't really party at night. But let's see, maybe I'll try tonight. And number five, foreigners. So there are so many foreigners here. Last night I met a couple. They came from Chile, Enrique and Katarina. And I realized that Bali really is a place that people would love to go to. But I haven't seen much of it yet, so that's what's gonna happen today, which I'm really excited for. That's what I learned about Bali, or about traveling here to Bali on day one. A couple of things I learned about myself. So one is, that's right, I mark my territory by sleeping. Another thing I learned about myself is that dependence sucks when you're a solo traveler. I just felt really bad when I tried to drive that motorbike and I was just like all over. I have to depend on Annie to just bring me to different places. Practice motorbike, life skill, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Maybe in like the end of the world or the apocalypse where you have to go up a mountain when a meteorite crashes into earth. Learn it now. As a solo traveler. Nox, as a solo traveler, it's just my first travel by myself, right? So it sucks to have to be dependent on other people. But at the same time, I have grown a friend in Annie. I guess I also don't like the fact that people have to wait on me. That's why we got a tip generously, you guys. Just be generous. Those are the things that I've learned and now I'm super excited for today. Thanks so much for watching my day one review. Catch my day two or maybe I'm gonna put them together. I don't really know yet because I'm wearing this in the same thing, right? Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Please do like and subscribe for more on my trip here in Bali and maybe about my songwriting just follow me and subscribe to not miss out on what's been happening in my journey as a singer songwriter who just loves life taking it a step at a time to sabu official yeah i want to dance with somebody with somebody who loves me